Hello everyone, this video is cut to introduce myself. Some of you may already know me from May's Brit. Those videos are my family and uh, most of them are of school situations and family situations. And so this page is going to be more about me based on things that I am in interested in, things that I do, uh, daily blogs, vlogs, or um, video reviews, um, makeup reviews, and I actually wanted to um, even address homeschooling in some of these videos, which is my latest venture. Uh, I am a 28-year-old mother of two very beautiful little girls, and one who is 12 and the other who is 5, and we have recently decided to homeschool, so that is something that we just started this year, in fact, and I'm really excited about it. Uh, so far, I've had my ups and downs. It's a, a really grueling process. It's not a decision to be taken lightly at all. And in fact, I'm a student also. I'm in my second year of college, so that doesn't make it much easier to keep up with everything that I have to do now. And it's much much bigger load but I'm really excited about it and I feel like I've gained a new um, respect for teachers and also in the process I'm really reconnecting with uh, my oldest daughter in a way that I didn't even realize we had lost in the process of her going to school but I see it now actually now that she's back home and um, I'm really still her primary caretaker. I think especially as after they start middle school it begins to be um, their goal and their superiors are their teachers and even though what you say to a certain um, point matters of course because they know they can get in trouble um, their actual um, I don't really know how to say this, but I guess their their life revolves around school and friends and teachers, and they start to kind of distance themselves from family, from home. And I started noticing that last year in sixth grade um, is really when it began. Before that, it was never a problem. We've always been very close, but we didn't get along as well last year. We would argue a lot because she was just very distant. Um, she didn't tell me as much as she used to tell me, so I was kind of left out in the dark and that would leave me asking questions that she didn't feel comfortable answering because she just didn't feel the bond, I guess, that we used to feel. And we're getting that back. We're definitely getting that back now that I've taken her out of school and that was one of the reasons why we have decided to do that. But my youngest daughter uh, was starting kindergarten this year and we decided to homeschool her because basically the school system um, is ill-equipped to handle the amount of uh, children that come in that may or may not be prepared for public school. Um, there are several Spanish children in our area who are unprepared for in English-speaking school because they come from homes that are strictly Spanish-speaking homes. And because of this, they get into schools and our school systems end up spending a lot of time teaching them how to speak English. And when they do that, um, it tends to bring the school levels down because they're spending so much time on this. and. I feel like personally that um, my child's not getting what she needs you know and I'm sure I'm gonna get some some complaints about saying that and if I do that's okay you know maybe I shouldn't be putting that out there but I am so we decided anyways that uh, kindergarten was best taught this year at home there were other reasons too though uh, the swine flu is very very prevalent around here right now and um, we last year I was sent a lovely lovely letter from my um, 
seventh grade daughter's school, which was sixth grade at the time, but um, questioning me on her gang influence. And okay, now when it gets to that point, then you know there's really a problem in your neighborhood. And I live in a very small community, so uh, to know that it's hitting us even in a small way is kind of scary. And as long as I can keep my kids' kids, the better. So, anyways, that's my reason for homeschooling because that's everyone's question, you know, why in the world would you do that because it's not the norm anymore. But, you know, what is the norm at this point, I'm saying? And if normal is allowing a system that is corrupt, corrupt my child, then I don't think I want to be normal. Uh, anyways, this video is not actually about homeschooling. Um, I'm also very interested in makeup. I am a Mark representative, and so from time to time I'll be doing some Mark videos and probably Mac too because I'm I love Mac. But we all know that Mac is a little more expensive, so I like to um, be involved in the. Uh, cheaper aspects of things sometimes too because you know you can't always afford to spend a hundred dollars on a new makeup kit or you know even 60 70 for that matter so it's nice to know that there are still some out there that cost less than 20 that's pretty amazing when I found mark I jumped on that I will not say that I'm in love with all of their products there are a few things that I question are um, really not what I would buy for myself. I think they're more centered around teenagers and so I, a lot of it actually the things that I don't like my 7th uh, grade daughter loves so I'm thinking you know that's more or less must be the uh, teenager product line. <laughs> but either way um, there are just a few things that you're going to see on my videos and I wanted to put myself out there and let you know exactly who I am and what I'm interested in and what these videos are going to be about. And I hope that I'll get some other um, people who are interested in the things that I'm interested in to subscribe and comment and, you know, I'm all about questions and ideas, especially as far as homeschooling goes. You know, um, I hate to go back on that subject again, but homeschooling is a very... Uh, it's a very trying time and it's uh, definitely a challenge and to always have as much support as possible is is wonderful I mean that's that's the goal is to be supportive of each other while we while we teach our children and while we raise our children to raise them right you know we also need to feel comfortable and we need friends and and people who can give us advice and because homeschooling is such a new controversial thing, there's a lot of negative activity and um, attitude, I guess, about it. But because of that, sometimes it makes you second guess yourself. And so it's always nice to have a solid support group to say, hey, you know what, even though you're not doing things the way everyone else does them, that doesn't mean that you're not doing them right. And I guess that's all I'll say about that subject right now. Uh, okay, well, it looks like I've run out of time, so I hope everyone uh, has a wonderful week, and I will see you all later. Bye.